Today I'm going to show you my own design dashboard, especially for the maintenance via PO tracking and monitoring. This is a very powerful and very useful dashboard for the management because in large companies, large organizations, there are thousands of POs and PR, and tracking for them is very immense. This dashboard is very useful for the inventory guys, those who are working in warehouse or the end users. Uh, uh, those have a lot of PRs and they just want to trace it and they just want to show in numbers and want to highlight the critical PRs for the early expectation. So in this regard, I have designed this dashboard, uh, especially for the management. It includes all the things completely automatic uh, and let's see how this thing works. So this is the user interference sheet. This is the sheet where the end user will input its, uh, its uh, feedback so that that would be highlighted. But there are the number of PRs they are going to raise and we will have it. For example, here there is a drop down list, user responsible, I will select play, the PR number he will write, the description that has been generated, whatever the software or the mechanism they are using, the currency, the value and the category. This is the most important for this uh, dashboard. Either you have to select high category, distributed PR or casual. So we will select high category and they have to, once they initiate the PR, they will select this checkbox. After this, when it goes to the accounts, they have here you can enter or you have to enter enter the date on which you have initiated, on which date the accounts approved this, and there is the maintenance manager, and then your RMS, and so on. In this way, you can work out on this uh, this uh, this whole uh, whole sheet and uh, for for this dashboard. For example, uh, so now I want to see on my dashboard that what I have entered is duplicating on there or not. So you see, one PR initiated or not, it is selecting. The PR is under approval phase is the one. So now I want to see this on the sheet, the, the list of critical PRs. I just click on this update list button. So if you select, let's say if you are selecting the casual PR and uh, you are writing here rotary US dollars and giving the status here and another PR you want uh, and that is very high critical and you put this thing select the department and you have selected is initiated under the accounts. So now if you go to the dashboard and update the list, you will have only the PRs that are critical urgent with the priority high. Hope you like this, uh, this sort of formatting and it will help your purpose.